I'm old enough to remember a time before apps, before smartphones, and even before YouTube. However, things move and progress, and we now have so many apps and tools at our disposal that I didn't have when I was young that I wanna share with you today. So today's video is all about five essential apps and tools that you can use to transform your practice time. Andrew Drummond, let's get into it. So first off, let's go with a classic, and that is GrooveScribe by Mike Johnson. Now, this is an awesome free web-based app. It works on every single device, and it's basically designed for you to program in, in a really simple format, grooves and simple fills. That you can then share them to your bandmates, you can then use them as practice tools, and as a teacher, I can even write stuff out and send it to students so they can practice during the week, and I don't get that excuse of, yeah, I forgot how to play that, so I didn't practice it. Because you program this in and then hit play, it will play it back to you using some great samples so it sounds like I am the drum teacher in the room with you. And that's awesome because it'll actually help people that play by ear, who like to watch and listen as someone plays, but also help people that are really comfortable reading but can translate that into the sound that they need to hear, which in turn makes it hard to know if you're practicing the right thing. Now with each of these apps, I wanna show you a couple of little hidden features that I like to use, things beyond you know, scratch below the surface. So with this one, there's a couple of things. Firstly, there's an awesome hidden feature called permutations. Now permutations isn't a hidden feature within itself. I've talked about it so much on this channel and on my website, but it's a really powerful tool for helping you explore something very, very deeply. So now what you do to start with is you set up a little parameter, sort of a groove ostinato, and then click up in the top menu, permutations, and then click kick or snare permutations. That'll open up like a sub page, and you can then select which permutations you wanna work on, or if you just wanna do all of them. Now, another thing I really like to do is to program complex clicks or to program hit patterns that I like to play around with and improvise with. Let's try a clave click. So if you select the hi-hat line, you can right click and it'll give you a click accent or click no accent. So if we wanna do a clave, let's just put that on the one, the out of one, the and of two, the and of three, and then the four. That gives you the rhythm of bop, 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 bop. Then you've got a creative, perfectly metronomic, click track to play along to. program some hits, I like to use like crash cymbals or stacker sounds. So let's just put it on the one ah. And then I'm gonna play for an entire bar after that. So Second on the list is RhythmBot. Now this is pretty new and it comes from JP Pouvé, awesome drummer, you should check him out. This one is like a digital version of New Breed. New Breed is an awesome book and you'll never actually memorize it. So you could have a copy of New Breed until it absolutely falls apart and then go and buy another one. You'll never have memorized this stuff. However, it's uncustomizable. So if there's a particularly steep learning curve, you're gonna find it really hard to get over that. What I like about RhythmBot, beyond the fact that it just generates random rhythms within the parameters that you set, is that you can select different parts. So let's say I was gonna work on the E, my weakness. So I'd select the E, the E and, the E A, uh, maybe E and A. Uh. Those are my four permutations I'm gonna work with. Now, RhythmBot is gonna chuck out constantly changing, constantly random rhythms that will allow me to practice and work on my very, very, very weak weaknesses.
Now, a metronome might be an obvious choice. Yes, you need a metronome, it's super obvious. However, I love this particular metronome. It's called Tempo and it's by Frozen Ape. It's free, which is awesome. There's some limited features, but I find that you can honestly get most of what you need out of the free version. And if you're lacking a little bit, just go and pay, get the paid version. It's only a few dollars or two pounds or something like that. It's not too much of an expense. It's not like the 15 pound ones that you can buy. What I really like about this, beyond the usual subdivisions and time signatures and all the stuff, is that you can choose which notes are in and which notes are out of your click. And therefore, it is super easy and super simple to set up gap clicks. I demonstrated a couple of weeks ago a video all about different ways of using the click. And the click I used in that was tempo. It's super easy. All you do is you set up, for example, in 4-4 and you deselect beats two and beats four. Therefore, the click is now gonna play one and three, but at your right tempo. This may be a bit of a strange one to a lot of people, but I'm gonna talk about an interval timer. Interval training and interval timer is something you use when you're at the gym. So it's like 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds off. And as drummers, we can actually use that that way. We could have 20 seconds where we go absolutely max out with our double bass or our single stroke roll, and then 10 seconds of rest. But I've chosen this specific interval timer, which is called interval timer, because it allows you to program each section and give them a name, and then your phone will tell you what to play. So here's a creative exercise with this interval timer. What you can do is you can program to play one subdivision for 20 seconds and another for another 20 seconds. Let's say triplets and 16th notes. At 20 seconds, it's gonna tell me to play triplets. So for 20 seconds, as the timer's going, I'm not worried about it, I play triplets. Almost said 16th notes there. Then in 20 seconds, when it goes bing, I play 16th notes. And instead of having to count bars, which can inhibit your creativity, especially with this kind of work, the interval timer's doing the job, and that's what apps should do. They should remove some of the unnecessary processing power that you need to do when you're practicing, so you can focus on being better, improving, and helping your drumming group. Now the fifth and final app I wanna share with you today is Epidemic Sound. It's the only paid one here, but there's a 30 day free trial at the link below if you wanna go and check it out. And the reason I like it is that you have thousands and thousands of songs available to you. They are licensable for your YouTube, your Facebook, and your Instagram. If you've heard any of the tracks on here, I get them all from Epidemic Sound. But what I like about Epidemic Sound versus other royalty sites is that you can get the stems. So as a drummer or a drum teacher, I can have access to thousands and thousands of songs in loads of different styles. I can download the stems, bring them into GarageBand, Logic, or Cubase like I use, and get rid of the drums. And therefore, I have, for myself and my students, drumless play-along tracks. Now, the stems are particularly useful when you want to practice your musicianship and get your musicianship chops up. What we can do is we can take the stems and keep the vocals, keep the bass, and keep all the other instruments, but get rid of the drums. Now you become the drummer, you write your parts, you chart the song, you do all that practice and get that experience without having to do that on the gig. So next time you're in the studio, you are more prepared to create interesting and musical drum parts because you've got all this experience and time you've spent in the practice room. So 
those are my five essential drumming apps, but I really wanna know what yours are. If there's any that I've missed out, leave it in the comments below. But until next time, guys, check these out. I hope they make your practice better, and I'll see you very soon.